Okay, so to begin with, we're just solving to find the value of x. So we want to get the x on its own and all the numbers on the other side. So we leave the 3x where it is, and then we take the 5 over, and that will subtract on the other side. So we've got 3x is 9. Now to get the 3 on its own, we're going to divide both sides by 3. So we get x is 9 divided by 3, so x is 3. If you want to check your answer, then you can always substitute it back in. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 5 will give you 14. Part B. Now you've got two ways of doing this one. We need the x's on one side and the numbers on the other. So you could bring the 4x over here, or you can take the 2x over there. It's up to you. So if we do it in two ways, if we leave the 2x and bring the 4x over, then that would leave the minus 2 and then we subtract the 6. So this will give us a minus 2x is minus 8. Now to get the x on its own, we're going to divide both sides, but we divide by the minus 2, it doesn't change sign. So instead of multiplying by minus 2, we will be dividing by minus 2. And then a negative divided by a negative gives us positive, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Alternatively, on the other side, if you just, instead of getting your x's on this side, if you wanted to get your x's on that side, then you'd leave the 6, you bring the 2 over, which will then add, you have the 4x, and then you subtract the 2x. So you end up with 8 is equal to 2x. So this way you're keeping everything positive. And now to get the x on its own, you divide both sides by 2, and then 8 divided by 2 just gives you 4. So either way you end up with the same answer. Moving on to C, we need to multiply our brackets out first. So we're going to have 3x plus 3 plus 10 plus 8 minus 2x is 4. So let's collect our terms together. So we collect our x's together. So 3x minus 2x is going to give us 1x. 3 plus 10 will give us 13 equal to 4. And then to get the x on its own, we take the 13 over and we subtract the 13. So we get x is minus 9. Moving on to d. Same thing again, multiplying the brackets out. So we get 12 plus 4x. And then here you've got the minus 2 multiplying by the 3x, which gives you minus 6x. And be careful at this stage because you have a minus 2 multiplying by the 2, so that will also be negative, that will be a minus 4 equal to 3. So again, collecting our terms, so look at the x's, we've got 4x minus 6x, which is a minus 2x, 12 minus 4, which is plus 8, is equal to 3. If we take the 8 over, we get 3, subtract 8, minus 2x is minus 5. Now again, to get the x on its own, we need to divide both sides by the minus 2. So you get minus 5 divided by minus 2. And a negative divided by a negative is positive, so you just get positive 2.5. If you wish to avoid the negatives, then you could have taken that over at this stage to get a plus 2x and bring you 3 over here, if you wish. But you would still end up with the same answer.